do you have any advice for Iowans who look at this discussion and think that there are irreparable divisions within the party that can't be healed with the current leadership? I don't think they're irreparable at all. In fact, what I've been doing as I'm on the road three and four nights a week is repeatedly telling people that we have much, much more in common, whether you're a mainline Republican or a social and economic conservative or a liberty person. But those differences that we have one another that have to do with logistics or even issues, issues I think are a fine thing where we can talk about openly and vigorously, again, without eliminating anybody out of our party. But in terms of logistics or disagreement with somebody, again, those kind of disagreements need to take behind closed doors. And again, I see, and it's a very small minority within our people that like to raise this rhetoric to its highest level. But again, I want to repeat this. Some of the same people talk about party unity are the same people that seem to thrive on spending the biggest share of their time trying to divide by uh, raising the rhetoric and making public statements, hoping it's going to make the press. I'm going Mr. to Kotchel? just for Mr. Kotchel. Yes, thank you very much. Um, Mr. Kotchel, you get the final word. 30 seconds is what we have left. Well, this coming January 2nd marks the 30th anniversary, anniversary when I first walked in the Republican Party of Iowa headquarters on High Street. I started as an intern. I worked my way up to field staff the year that Ronald Reagan was, was reelected. I was the executive director in 1995 and 1996. I've never seen the state party in worse shape. For heaven's sakes, we don't even have a paid professional finance director at the party. You can't even raise enough money to afford someone to raise money. We've got to do a better job at the state party. I think there are two or three paid staff people at the party. When I was there, it was eight or 10 or 12 people busy working to elect Republicans.